most of what we do in any given day is not conscious choice. Mm. It's habit, mm. right? So Duke University did a study and I think they found that 56% of what we do in any given day is habit. Mm. So we give ourselves far too much credit that we're actually deciding what we do on any given day. No, we're mm. not. Most of it is habits. Mm. So the way you make a new behavior turn into a long-term habit, mm. right, is you stick it on to an existing, existing habit, yeah. right? right? You piggyback it mm. onto it. Because you're already doing the other habit without thinking about it. Yeah. That's by definition what a habit is, right? Yeah. And so you're making it much more likely that you're going to do it in the long term. Certainly here in the UK, we love a cup of tea in the morning or a cup mm. of coffee. For many people, for many of my mm. patients, one of the first things they do in the morning is go downstairs or go to a different room mm. and put the kettle on. Mm. That is a brilliant habit yeah. to stick on a new behavior. And for a number of years, when I had... How can I put it? But if an unhealthy relationship with caffeine and coffee, I should say. <laughs> uh, been, uh, yeah. yeah, and it's something I've, I've, I've you know, I, I've certainly been working on it and reduced dramatically. Mm. Um, but when I did, you know, I would go and weigh out my coffee, mm. I'd put it in the French press, and I'd put the timer on for four minutes. Yeah. Right? During those four minutes, I would do a body weight strength workout. Mm. Right? So for about three years, mm. I never missed a day of doing a strength workout. Mm, mm. Why? I was never going to miss my morning cup of coffee, mm. which meant mm. I was never going to miss my strength workouts. Yeah. And it's trying to find these little pockets in the day where you can fit in one of these five-minute health snacks. Yeah. And you know, I will also acknowledge that when I, because I've, I've gone through phases here of not having any caffeine at all, mm. and I felt great actually when I've kicked the caffeine, really, really good. Um, but then initially... I wouldn't do my strength workout anymore. I know, it's because, weird, isn't it? Because <laughs> I did it whilst the coffee was brewing. Yeah. So I've had to find... Another habit to tag Exactly onto. a new way. And mm. here's the other thing, right? I'll say, so just so people know that this really can work for all of us, no matter whether we're working shifts, wh whatever our family life is, whatever our, our, our lifestyle mm. is, those three health snacks that I've asked people to do five days a week, I even give people weekends off if they want, mm. right? Mm. If you want... You can do what I do, which is I get up in the morning and I do five minutes of mind, five minutes of body, five minutes of heart. So within 15 minutes of waking up, I've done the whole plan. And I know for the rest of the day, mm. I don't need to worry because I've already done it. Now, what actually happens when you do that is it bleeds into the rest of your day. You end up doing more behaviors later in the day because you've already done it, even though that's not a requirement, mm. right? But if you don't want to do it, then that's fine. If you want to do mind in the morning, body at lunch and heart in the evening, that's fine as well. If you want to do all three in the evening, that's fine. It's, it's flexible. Mm. It's flexible. Mm. We can personalize it. We can take ownership. Yeah. Right? I'm, I'm, I hope giving people a framework mm. and then people can use that framework and personalize it for them. Yeah. It could be, for example, when you come home from work. Like, mm. I don't know about you. First thing I do when I come home from work is I take off my smart clothes mm. and put on some comfy clothes, mm. like a t-shirt and some jogger bottoms. Mm. Right? Yeah. So that's another, what I call a transition point where you can stick in a five minute health snack. Mm. So if when you come in through your front door, you go into your bedroom to change your clothes, right? You know, if you want to do a five minute yoga flow, then you can leave your yoga mat there. Mm. So you're, you're prompted with a visual trigger every time you come back from work. Mm. Oh, you know what? Before I go into the kitchen, before I get involved with anything else or mm. unwind in any other way, let me just do my five minutes of yoga. Making it easy again. You make mm. it easy. Mm. And then what happens, What you bringing back the ripple effect, if you if you come back from work stressed, mm. right? Like many of us Not do. Not uncommon, yeah. <laughs> Not uncommon <laughs> at all. And the first thing you do when you come in through the door is do a five minute workout of some sort, whether mm. it's a five minute yoga flow or a five minute HIIT workout, mm. right? You're going to burn off mm some of that stress because fundamentally what the body stress response does is it primes us for physical activity yeah. it primes us to run away from a lion mm. right so if you can burn off that stress energy it's going to change your evening mm. you're going to be more present with your children with your partner mm. with your friends you're going to be less inclined to drink maybe as much alcohol as you might have done because you process some of that stress mm. so these are just little options gratitude if you want to do gratitude before you go to bed mm. right you got to leave a gratitude journal next to your bed, a journal mm. that you like with a pen. Sounds simple, right? But if you don't, what's going to happen? You're going to go to bed one night feeling a bit tired. Oh, you know what? The journal's not, oh, the journal's downstairs, pens, oh, forget it. Yeah. Before you know it, you're not doing it anymore, yeah. right? So 
I have literally outlined all these little tips on how you make these habits mm. stick. But the reason why you want to do the same habit each day, because let's say mm. on a body workout, you're like, well, I like I like a strength workout. I like a high intensity interval workout. I like a yoga flow, right? Well, the reason why initially at least you should stick to the same ones is because you want to remove decision-making. Mm. You want to remove procrastination. Mm. So if you come back from work and think, okay, you know, I get it. I'm going to do my five-minute workout every day when I come home from work before I play with my kids or before I do anything else. If each day you have to decide, um, well, should I do strength today? Oh, you know what? Maybe I should do a bit of yoga. Oh, do you know what? I'm going to do an interval workout today. Mm. Or maybe I should do dancing. Before you know it, you've wasted energy and cognitive yeah. energy yeah. trying to figure it out and you end up doing nothing. Yeah. So I say, it doesn't matter what you choose. Mm. Just choose. You want to remove that interference. You've got to remove that interference. Mm. Now, yeah. when you get really good and drilled in mm. after a few months, sure, if you want to change it about, mm. fine. Mm. But don't do that initially. Follow the rules of behavior change. Yeah. Don't get, I won't say too cocky. Don't get too sure too quickly, right? Mm. There is a certain way mm. that human beings make behavior. If you do not stick it on to an existing habit, mm. you are dramatically reducing the likelihood yeah. of you being able to do it in the long term. Yeah. And if, you know, we're so busy these days, if you think, oh, when I've got time today, mm. I'm going to do my five minutes body and my five minutes mind, you know what? Yeah. You ain't ever going to get time. Yeah.